Happy New Year. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Checking out my computer, make sure everything's going well. Lulu's here. Here, come in, come here in here. See, Lulu's here to say Happy New Year to everybody. Yes. Yes. All right. And that says Happy New Year to you, Lulu. Okay. All right. Hi, Annette. Yes, I had a good holiday season. I hope you did also. I kind of actually uh, went off the grid for a while, which was nice. And I wasn't actually off the grid, I was, but I kind of pu pushed aside all the emails and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, all right, let me set up my computer here. Give me uh, just a minute. I don't have my producer. She's back celebrating her senior year of high school. Sophia is celebrating her senior year of high school. Hard to believe, isn't it? Okay. So, um, hello there. Um, so first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to share something that I think is kind of hilarious myself. Um, so um, I've got these great next door neighbors and they have uh, two kids. One's a uh, second grader and yeah, there's a fourth grader. Second grader and fourth grader. Yeah, see, I'm learning how to count. Um, anyway, they got me a Christmas gift that has been cracking me up all week, and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so <clears throat> they uh, they apparently they were walking through a store, and they saw this, and they were like, "Oh, we have to get this for Mr. Craig." Now in the front, it says North Pole Yoga Studio. Okay. All right, so. I'm just going to share this with you and I'm going to bring the microphone, uh, the microphone down a little closer to it. All right. So in place of dad jokes, here you go. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, hang on. I gotta get my microphone back on. Give me. Give me just a second here. Ugh. See, you gotta mic up all the time for this. <clears throat> so there you have it. Yoga Santi. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Anyway, I was just cracking me up. So, wanted to take a moment and share it with you. Boom. Okay. I think we're ready to go into a new year. We're going to have a happy and healthy new year. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in 2022. I'm looking forward to getting together and, um, and doing Tai Chi with you personally. Um, in 2022 that would be uh, that'd be like the, the greatest gift for 2022 is to be able to get together and uh, do Tai Chi with you guys one-on-one -on -one. so um, all right <clears throat> there we go okay so traditional Chinese bow right hand fist power left hand fingers together friendship tucking the thumb remaining humble and the fist goes into the palm and we say welcome or ni hao um, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for making Tai Chi part of your week. Um, so in this class, we use typically use a three chair setup. All right, if you wanna be at your safest, I recommend this three chair setup. The green chair is to sit in, the two brown chairs are to stand next to, okay? So this is what it looks like from the front. And actually a better view is from the side and it looks like this. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> I see people do that all the time, but it looks like this. So when you are sitting, you need to go lay down, pup. No, you need to go lay down. So when you're sitting, it looks like this. And then when I stand up, I'm right next to the brown chair so I can hold on to those chairs. Okay. So this is a very safe way to exercise using the chairs in this manner. All right. 
Now I'm going to move these chairs to the side. Give myself a little bit more room here. <clears throat> and we are going to talk a little bit about City. Lulu, you need to go lay down, honey. All right, good girl. You're a good, no, you're a good girl. Okay. Okay, you're a good dog, but you need to go lay down, okay? All right. All right, good girl. Uh, all right, sorry. Camera hog. <laughs> um, so, when we sit, no, go lay down. Uh, when we sit, we put our feet flat on the floor, a 90 degree bend between the upper and the lower leg. With our pelvis, sometimes, and, and I see this more often with people with Parkinson's, they tend to roll back on their pelvic bone and kind of round the back. Um, even see it fairly severe sometimes where they'll sit like this. But instead, we want to roll forward on the pelvic bone. Notice how that straightens the back. And then I lift my head up by a silk thread. So it gives me good straight body posture in this direction. And of course, you want to keep good straight body posture in this direction. Okay? All right. So practice your posture in the chair. The, the posture you practice in a chair tends to be the same posture that you use uh, when you are standing. Okay? So as you sit, practice good posture. Okay? All right. So now this class is designed that you can do this class standing or seated. Okay? And we are going to start, what is on? Oh, that's the dog. Come on, dog. You need to go lay down. Okay. So the class is designed that you can do the whole class seated if you need to. You can do the class whole class standing if you need to. Or you can alternate between the two. And that's what we do in this class. Uh, we do the class um, a little bit of it standing. Then we sit down. And then we do a little bit more. Um, standing. Okay, so make sure you have your water bottle. Colder weather, drier air, more water. I haven't put the table back in. Lulu, go lay down. Okay, so we're going to start with our deep breathing exercises as we always do. Okay, so we are in the Wuji position. My knees are bent. Tailbone is dropped. Head is lifted by a silk thread. So I have good straight body posture in this direction. And I have good straight body posture in this direction. Again, my f I'm going to go through the Wuji position just in a little detail. Annette, I know you know this, um, but bear with me. I want to make sure somebody's just joining us. A lot of times after the first of the year, we will have people joining us for the first time. So... Wuji position, you want to put your feet either hip distance or shoulder distance apart. Um, I like to stand a little wider. It works my legs a little more because I never get any exercise. Um, but what you want to do, if you take your two fists and put your two fists together like this, um, you want to be able to put those two fists in between your feet. Okay, um, that's the minimum distance that you want. All right. So that would be about the minimum. You don't have to bend over and put your, your fist down, but take your two fists and just kind of eyeball it and say, yeah, that's about the right distance. So that would be about the most narrow stance for me. That would be about hip distance. That would be about shoulder distance. And I actually go a little bit wider, okay? Wider, a little bit better. It's gonna work the legs a little bit more though, okay? That's the first part. Second is we bend the knee, all right? A lot of people like to stand and they lock their knees out when they stand. Instead, we want to bend the knee, all right? When we bend the knee, we take the weight off of the skeletal system, okay? So when I stand with my knees locked out, all of my body weight goes to my hips and my knees, my ankles, and my lower back. When I bend the knees, now I'm exercising my legs, but I'm also, those, those legs, those knees being bent, kind of act as a little bit of a shock absorber, okay? So I'm exercising my leg, I'm t legs, I'm taking my weight off of my skeletal system. So I end up not having as many issues with my knee and my lower spine, okay? 
third, we kind of tuck in the pelvis. So as we bend the knee, we kind of tuck the pelvis in a little bit. Now we don't over rotate and do this, but we kind of, there's two ways to look at this. You can kind of rotate the pelvis a little bit, or you can take the tailbone and kind of point the tailbone towards the floor. But you notice what this does is as I rotate that pelvis a little bit, I straighten my spine up, okay? And then the other part of this is I lift my head up by a silk thread. So if you actually imagine like a piece of thread, as you tuck in that pelvis, you're kind of pulling down on the thread. And as you lift the head up, you're kind of lifting up on that thread. So instead of that thread being loose and kind of flimsy or bent over, you're pulling down on the thread by tucking in the pelvis, you're pulling up on the thread by lifting the head and you kind of stretch that spine, okay? It's very common for people with Parkinson's to start to hump over or hunch over, I'm sorry, um, to start leaning forward and rotating forward. So instead, we straighten the spine, we tuck in the pelvis and we lift the head up by a silk thread and this gives us good straight body posture, okay? So, all right, uh, wanted to go into that in a little bit of detail today to make sure, because uh, if you do nothing else but stand in this Wuji position and do like 10 minutes of deep breathing every day, you're gonna see your health improve, okay? All right, so from that Wuji position, we're gonna do some deep belly breathing. Let's begin, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Push the hands in front of us next. Inhale, hands up in front of the heart. Exhale, gently push the palms forward. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Once again, big deep belly breath in. Breathing out, pushing out. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, keep the back nice and straight. Inhale and exhale arms over the head next inhale hands up in front of the heart exhale gently push the palms towards the ceiling inhale hands back up in front of the heart exhale relax the hands down again big deep belly breath in breathing out gently pushing up Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Arms to the side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Big deep belly breath in. Breathing out, pushing out. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Arms in the diagonals. Inhale, hands up in front of the heart. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, right hand up and left hand down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Big, deep belly breath in. And long, slow breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And lastly, gathering chi. Big, deep belly breath in. Long, slow breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. And there you have it. That's our deep breathing exercises. I submit to you that if you want to improve your health in 2022, you start by doing 10 minutes of deep breathing every day. It's very important for my Parkinson's friends to do 10 minutes of deep breathing every day. All right. Helps calm, helps relax the body. Um, if you are really good with it um, and stay really focused on your breathing, don't let your mind wander to what happened earlier this morning or what I need to do later today. Stay laser focused on that breathing, breathing in, breathing out. Um, you will see your tremors be reduced. A lot of people feel their anxiety kind of come down a little bit. Uh, but it, it's, it, it's teaching the mind to focus on the breathing. Okay? All right. Pardon me. I need to step off camera for a moment to check on something. Okay. Interesting. I thought the door may be close to my daughter's room. Okay. So that's our deep breathing to get us started. Okay? All right. Uh, let's move along. Let's do our warm up exercise. Lulu, honey, you need to go lay down. I'll pet you between classes, okay? Sorry, pups. All right. Unless you guys wanted to see me pet the dog for a long time. <laughs> Poor thing. I think she's missing Sophia today. Sophia has gone three days in a row to class and had class all day. This hasn't happened for a long, long time. Um, because of her medical condition. And so she's gone three days, full days of class, uh, which is pretty amazing. So I think this one is a little lost because of that. She doesn't know what to do without her being home. All right. So we're going to do our warm up exercises. Um, I'm going to check one more thing just to make sure the other thing. She doesn't normally keep bothering me for stuff like this. That's why I want to make sure that there's nothing going wrong here. No, she's got enough water too. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. You get to live in the Miller house for a little while here. Um, sometimes she'll do this when she, she was out right before I started teaching. So I think she's okay. I think she's lonely. Welcome to 2021, right? And now we're in a new year though, and that's going to change. So warm up exercises, two exercises for the neck two exercises for the shoulders, two exercises for the lower spine, two exercises for the hips, two exercises for the knees, and two exercises for the ankles. I throw in a little balance exercise in between here. Um, first thing I'd like you to do is get used to doing the breathing exercise, all right? Um, on a daily basis, 10 minutes of deep breathing, all right? Second thing, after you get that down to a regular habit, then to do these warm up exercises on a daily basis. If you get both of those done, the breathing exercises, the warm up exercises, 
2022 can be a transforming year for you. All right. Not only where you kind of just maintain your health, uh, but you actually improve your health. And that's what we're looking to do. Okay. All right. So from that Wuji position, we're going to do the chin tuck. We keep the chin level. Feel like someone's pushing back on the face. Feel a nice stretch on the back of the neck. All right. So from the Wuji position, float the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin while looking straight ahead. And then the hands come out, the chin gently floats up and sink the chin down to the chest. I'm going to show this from the side. We float the hands up in front of us. Notice I keep the chin level, looking straight ahead. Feel that stretch on the back of the neck. as I tuck in the chin. The hands come out, the chin gently floats up and sink the chin to the chest. One more time, we float the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin, feel the nice stretch. And then the hands come out, the chin gently floats up, and we sink the chin down to the chest. Beautiful. Next neck exercise, looking side to side. Make sure you are turning the neck, all right? The hands are secondary. Prior hand position. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top, just turning the neck. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder, looking right, gently pushing down left. And come back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, now the right hand is on top. Left hand, left shoulder, looking left, gently pushing down on the right. And come back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Right hand, right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. Come back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, right hand is on top. Left hand, left shoulder, looking left, gently pushing down on the right. And come back to prayer hands. One more time each side. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Right hand, right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. Come back to your prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, right hand on top. Left hand, left shoulder, looking left, gently pushing down on the right. And come back to your prayer hands. Then exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Forward shoulder circles are next. Bring the shoulders back, then up, then forward and down. Shoulders back, up, Forward and down. One more time. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. Now reverse that. Shoulders forward, then up, then back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. This can be a noisy exercise sometimes. Forward, up, back and down. Excellent. So one thing my Parkinson's friends can keep an eye on as you're doing these exercises. Um, a lot of people with Parkinson's, one side becomes uh, weak and the other side becomes rigid. Okay. So when we're doing exercises like this past one is a really good example. The next one is also a very good example. Uh, when we're doing Tai Chi, whatever we do on the left side, we also do on the right side. Um, but you want to make sure that you try as much as possible to keep uh, your body even right and left side. So let's say, for instance, my left side, I'm mirroring you, my left side was my weak side. On that last exercise, what I might find myself doing is doing this kind of a thing where one shoulder is, see how my right shoulder is moving, but the left shoulder doesn't move a whole lot. So what you want to try and do is make sure that the weak side is catching up to the strong side or also the rigid side. Okay. Um, make sure you're trying to keep that balance. Now, as you first start out, that's going to be harder to do. Um, but as you do more and more Tai Chi, you will find the weak side will start to catch up to the strong side. And again, I'm using, I'm just as an example, I'm using the left side as my weak side and strong side. So in that last exercise, 
I'm not doing this type of thing where you see the right shoulders moving, left shoulders not moving a whole lot. You want to get both shoulders going. Um, and the next exercise, gathering chi, in that same scenario where this would be the weak side, um, you'll see people do this as they get, ooh, helps if both hands are in the picture. They'll, you'll bring your hands up like this and then bring the hands down. So you notice the left side, I'm not circling as much as the right side is, okay? So you wanna try and get that left side to catch up to the right side or your weak side to catch up to your strong side, okay? Something to keep in mind. Caretakers, you can help with this also. A lot of times people with Parkinson's won't realize that they're doing this. So a very gentle, gentle is the key word here, never nagging, but say, hey, just so you know, your weak side's a little lower. So make sure that they are aware of it, all right? Okay. Gathering chi, reaching for infinity, inhale. Gently reaching out, reaching up. And then exhale, relax the hands down. Once again, we're gently reaching out, reaching up. You're making sure, see, both sides are even. Both sides are even. And then bring the hands down. One more time. We're gently reaching out, reaching up. Beautiful stretch. And then exhale, relax the hands down. Excellent. Next exercise is touching heaven and earth, lifting the head up by the silk thread. I talk over and over again about how important posture is. This exercise is gonna help you with your posture, all right? So looking at this one from the side, I keep looking straight ahead, but I float my head towards the ceiling, all right? It's a nice gentle lifting of the head. I'm not looking up, I'm looking straight ahead. The chin is staying level as I float the head towards the ceiling, okay? Um, this is great for opening the back. Um, again, really, really good for posture. As a matter of fact, I had a gentleman, now this gentleman uh, does not have Parkinson's disease. Um, he's in one of my other classes. Uh, he was a general surgeon or worked on the uh, general surgeon for many, many years. And uh, when he started doing Tai Chi, he was having back pain and walking with a cane. Um, now he's in a, in a class where I'm doing two classes per week. Um, and after three weeks, this is the first time he's ever done Tai Chi. After three weeks of class, he was able to put down his cane and he no longer had back pain. And he attributes it to this exercise right here, the touching heaven and earth, okay? So from that Wuji position, prayer hands. Left hand pushes up, right hand down, stretching the spine. And come back to center. Right hand up, left hand down, gently stretch the spine. And come back to center. Show you this one from the side. I'm gonna continue to mirror. Left hand up, right hand down, gently stretching the spine. Come back to center. Right hand up, left hand down, gently stretch the spine. And come back to center. One more time each side, I'll stay back here. <laughs> left hand up, right hand down, gently stretching that spine. Come back to center. Right hand up, left hand down, gently stretch that spine. And come back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Carrying the ball side to side. So in this exercise, um, one thing that people forget when uh, with my Parkinson's friends is a lot of exercise will work on the extremities because that's where the symptoms first show up. But we want to keep a really strong core, okay? This exercise will help you build your core. But you have to concentrate. We're not going to move the hips, all right? So I'm going to turn my upper body without moving my hips, all right? So what's the best way to do that? Best way is to think about the belly button. So as I turn to the left, I think about turning. I'm not just turning my neck. I'm not just turning my shoulders, but I'm turning my belly button to the left, all right? And then I'm going to turn my belly button to the right. Everybody knows where their belly button is, right? If not, Annette can show you. 
Um, so as you turn, you want to turn the belly button without moving the hips. So see, I'm turning the belly button, but I'm not moving the hips, all right? So that's what you want to concentrate on with this exercise. This carrying the ball is the secondary thing to think about. And we're going to carry this ball, and you think that this ball is now connected to your belly button. Um, so as I move to the left, I bring the ball to the left. When my belly button stops turning, the ball stops turning. So I don't bring the ball way over here. Now my belly button's here and the ball's way out here. I keep them connected to one another. So as I turn to the right again, my belly button and the ball stays connected to one another. Okay? Um, that's a secondary thing. I see a lot of people, they'll either do this and go, look how far I can turn. But see, I've released my hips. My hips aren't square to the front. Or they'll do this and disconnect the ball from the belly button. Okay? All right, so hips square to the front, turning the upper body, turn the belly button, not just the head and the shoulders, turn the belly button, okay? All right. From the Wuji position, Tai Chi ball. Left hand is on top, exhale to the left. Inhale the ball over, right hand's on top, exhale right. Inhale the ball over, left hand's on top, exhale left. Inhale the ball over, right hands on top, exhale to the right. Inhale the ball over, exhale left, not moving the hips, just the upper body. Inhale the ball over, exhale to the right. And then inhale the ball over, come back to prayer hands, and then exhale, relax the hands down. Pardon me, I need to check something on my computer. Um, okay, yep, that looks good. So, I'm going to get a drink of water. First day back, always all kinds of things happening simultaneously. What was that? Um, we're going to do, we're going to, uh, so we're going to take a side step from the warm up exercise for just a moment because I want to do a leg strengthening exercise. I love this leg strengthening exercise. It's a really compact exercise, but it teaches us a lot about balance and it builds our leg strength up. Okay. So there's two things I want you to concentrate on with this ex. Let's see that's floating up there. Two things. I want you to work on keeping the knee bent and keeping the body nice and straight, okay? So the leg that has the weight on it, keep the knee bent, resist that urge to lift and lock the knee. We're looking at it from the side, the leg that has the weight, the knee is bent. I'm not lifting the knee up, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing is, I'm gonna use the other side now, so my knee is bent, but my upper body stays nice and straight, all right? Head and shoulders over the hips. One nice straight line. I'm not leaning out and I'm not pronating. Sometimes I'll see people kind of pronate the hip out. See how my body looks like it's curved, all right? So body straight, knee bent. I like to call this the dragon dance, okay? So from the Wuji position, weight shifts to the left. Bend in the left knee, right foot, cat stance. Tap, right toe out in front, empty. Back into the cat stance. And tap, right toe out to the side. Cat stance once again. And tap, right toe behind us. Notice I'm keeping Plenty of space between the feet. Cat stance. And back to Wuji. Awesome. Other side, weight shifts right, bend in the right knee, left foot, cat stance. 
tap, left toe out in front, empty. Cat stance. Tap, left toe to the side. Cat stance. And tap left toe behind us. Again, keeping plenty of space between the feet. And cat stance. And back to Uji. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. Good work, everybody. Good work. All right. By the way, if you have any questions, you can type them in the comments section, or if you want to say hi to me like Annette did, and that I so appreciate, uh, you can say hi to me in the comments section also. Uh, it's always uh, fun as a teacher to know who's out there watching, and when people say hello, I really do appreciate it. Um, I have come to think of my Tai Chi friends as my family, uh, so it's always good when family checks in and says hello, right? All right. So, we're gonna have a seat. We're gonna work our hips and our knees from the chair, all right? So, we've already talked about good posture in the chair. Feet flat on the floor. 90 degree bend between the upper and the lower leg. We rock forward on the pelvis head, lifted by a silk thread. Good straight body posture. Good straight body posture. First hip exercise. If you have a chair that has arms on it, please turn to the right hand side of the chair, all right? My chair doesn't have any arms on it, and this works better on video to do it from the front, so I'm gonna stay facing the front, but if you have arms on it, turn to the right-hand side of the chair, knees together, and we're gonna work that left leg. So we're gonna slide that left leg out. I'm gonna keep this 90-degree bend here, the leg coming straight up out of the ground. I feel the stretch on the inside of the legs and the hips, and then bring the knees back together again. Again, we slide the left leg out, feel that nice stretch, see? Nice right angles, leg coming straight up out of the ground. Upper body's nice and straight and come back to center. One more time, slide the left leg out, feel that nice stretch. We're gonna hold it here for a minute as we inhale and exhale, and then bring the knees back together again. Beautiful. Now. If you're sitting in a chair with arms on it, you've been facing the right-hand side of the chair, go ahead and turn to the left-hand side of the chair while we work that right leg. Oh, she's going to think I called her because I slapped my knee. Um, we're going to work the right leg now, okay? Again, keeping right angles with the knee, leg coming straight up out of the ground, so I'm not doing this, all right? I'm definitely not doing this. All right, right leg. Slide that right leg out to the side. Feel that nice stretch inside of the legs and the hips, and then bring the knees back together again. A second time, slide the right leg out, feel that nice stretch, see? All nice right angles, good straight lines, come back to center, it's a beautiful thing. One more time, slide the right leg out, and we're gonna hold it here for a moment as we inhale and exhale and then bring the knees back together again. Shake those legs loose. Excellent, good work, everybody. Second hip exercise, forward, I call this the hokey pokey when we're standing. We're gonna do two motions with the leg. First, <clears throat> we're going to push the foot down, all right? You're trying, like, like you're trying to drive the foot down through the floor, so you're pushing down. You feel the leg muscles tense up, okay? Second, we're going to lift the knee up towards the chest. Notice I'm keeping my body straight in this direction as I lift the leg up. And even more important, from this direction as I lift the leg up, I keep my back straight, okay? So I'm not leaning backwards. I'm not rolling back on my pelvis. I keep the back nice and straight, okay? All right. Sitting up nice and straight and tall, hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can. Pushing down, push, 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 and relax. And then lift the left knee to the chest, the back and the body stay nice and straight. And relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can, pushing down, and relax. And then lift the left knee to the chest, 
the back and the body stay nice and straight. <clears throat> Pardon me and relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can, pushing down, push, 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 push. Relax and then lift the left knee to the chest and relax. Other side, right leg, same, same. Hands in front of us, push down on the right foot, hard as you can, pushing down, push, 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 relax, and then lift the right knee to the chest, and relax. <clears throat> Hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can, or right foot, I'm sorry, right foot, push down on the right foot, hard as you can, and relax, and then lift the right knee to the chest. And relax one more time. Hands in front of us, push down on the right foot, hard as you can, trying to drive it through the floor. Push, 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 push. Relax and then lift the right knee to the chest. And relax, beautiful. Shake those legs loose. I'm gonna get a drink of water. I gotta go find my table. We broke this whole set down over the holiday season because we had Christmas at our house. And so, um, I need to go find it. Hang on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. All right. Heel kick is next. Four motions with the leg. First, we pick the leg up, back straight, body straight. Second, we kick the leg out. Again, the back straight and the body is straight. Third, we pick the leg back up. Fourth, we float the foot to the ground, all right? The key on this exercise is this lifting of the knee. And essentially what we're doing is we're lifting this knee before we kick and after we kick, all right? What you wanna concentrate on is keeping your back straight, especially from this direction. So as I lift the leg up, I'm not doing this, or I'm not doing this, but I keep the back nice and straight as I kick out, as I lift the leg, as I set the leg down, all right? So second thing we're going to do is, <clears throat> pardon me, we're gonna punch out the opposite hand, all right? Now, if this is too much for you, I want you to concentrate on the legs first, all right? But once you feel like I've got the legs down, then work on punching out the opposite hand, all right? So if I'm kicking left, I'm punching out with the right hand, okay? This is the same thing, this is exactly what we do when we walk, all right? Okay, so that's all you have to do, about 20 things simultaneously, okay? So. Hands loosely gripped at the belt line. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left. Punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg and float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. One more time, pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out left fist. And then pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground, and shake those legs loose. <clears throat> All right, good job, everybody. So, next exercise for our knee. Hang on. All right. So, next exercise, toe kick. Same as the, um, same as the heel kick. Just now, instead of pointing the toe up, we point the toe forward. So in the last one, my toes pointed up, now I'm pointing it forward. Looking at it from the side, toe was up, now it's forward. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so, toe kick, all right? 
Everything else is still the same. And remember the important part of this exercise is the lifting of the knee. Hands loosely clenched at the belt line. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. One more time, pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out right fist and hold this for a half hour. Just kidding. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg and float the foot to the ground. Beautiful, shake those legs loose. All right, I need to get a drink of water again. Water's a good thing. Water's your friend, right? Okay, so next, whoops, that's what we want. All right, we're gonna do our ankle exercises. Uh, let's do these standing today, all right? Because this will probably be the last exercise we'll get to in this hour, all right? So um, you can stay seated if you want to, um, but standing will gives you a chance to work the other leg, okay? Now, a lot of exercises here, right? 12 exercises. How do you know which ones are most important? Well, actually I did a stream many months ago doing them in, in the importance for someone with Parkinson's disease. Uh, but I would say, I talked about um, spending 10 minutes each day breathing. I would do that 10 minutes of deep breathing every day. The heel kick exercise that we just did, heel kick, toe kick, do that at least once a day. Really important exercise, all right? It's, an, it's so important to keep up your leg strength, okay? And then third, I would do this, heel, this ankle exercise, heel toe ankle exercise, all right? Start out with deep breathing, heel kick, ankle exercise, and then add from there. The next one I would add would be that touching heaven and earth, okay? All right. So ankle exercise, real simple, um, but a, a very profound exercise, but very simple. Key on this one is to not move the leg, you're just moving the ankle, all right? So weight shifts to the right, left foot, touch heel and toe. Heel and toe. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Two more times, heel, toe, heel and toe. Weight shifts to the left, bend in the left knee, right foot, touch heel and toe. Heel and toe. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Heel, toe, and I've totally lost count, so we're gonna do one more heel and toe. Notice I'm not moving my leg, only moving the ankle. Also notice as I weight shift, the body's staying nice and straight, all right? Uh, I have the bend in the knee, upper body stays nice and straight, okay? All right, second ankle exercise. Weight shifts right, bend in the right knee, left foot touch, little toe and big toe. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Little toe big toe, outside and inside. Then we weight shift left, right foot, same, same, touching the little toe and the big toe, outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Little toe and big toe. And come back to the Wuji position. All right, I think that's a good place to stop for today. So couple of things for you. Um, we're going to end this stream in just a minute here. We're going to do our cool down exercises, um, sign off, and we're going to take a 15 minute break. We will be back in 15 minutes. We're doing a level two, meaning a standing class. 
Um, we're going to do the deep breathing that we did. We're going to do the warm-ups. We're going to do all the warm-ups standing in this one, all right? Then we'll do some Qigong exercises, and then we'll work on the Tai Chi for arthritis form, all right? So if you're like, Craig, you haven't worked me hard enough, stick around for 15 minutes. We'll work you a little harder, okay? Um, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can also go to my website, which is Tai Chi, S-T-L. So that once again is T-A-I-C-H-I-S as in Sam, T as in Tom, L as in Larry, dot com. Um, there's some helpful guides there to help you practice. There is also at the very bottom, you can scroll on down and shoot me an email. Okay. All right. So let's do our cool down exercises. Lightly punch or slap the legs. Next, tighten up all the muscles of the body and relax. Again, we'll tighten up the muscles and relax. And one more time, tighten up the muscles and relax. David, good to see you. Happy New Year. Thank you for letting me know you're out there. And gather chi. Inhale, we missed you on Tuesday. And exhale. I hope you're doing well. Inhale, exhale, and one more time, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Welcome to a new year. A new year, we're going to make ourselves healthy in 2022. That is our goal, and that's what we are going to focus on, is making ourselves healthy. The way that you can do that, 10 minutes of deep breathing every day, and then do some of these warm-up exercises. Start with the, the heel kick, start with the ankle exercise, and then keep adding from there. A list of those warm-up exercises is available on my website, okay? All right, um, thank you guys. Uh, Annette, David, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for checking in and saying hello. I appreciate it. We're gonna take a 15 minute break and we will be back. So I will see you in 15, where I will see you one week from today. Shanna, V-A-W-R Tech. Um, hi, hi, that's Shana, Shana, Shana McLaughlin. Thank you for saying hi, Shana. I appreciate that very much. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll see, like I said, see you in 15 or see you one week from today. Good job. <laughs>